Hi guys. In this lecture, I will give a brief introduction on how to add devices in your workspace and connect them. So let's start with identifying devices. So first, I first of all, I have to locate where I am from where I am able to add devices. So at left 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 side at the bottom, you are locate you are able to locate devices. So Suppose I want to add networking device. I I have to move my cursor to the first icon that is networking device. So once you move your icon over here, it will automatically show which type of device. From here, you can you are able to add. Suppose I want to add networking device. I have click on this one icon. Then, if I have to add and device, I have to select some other icon. So once again, I have to move my cursor on. And devices. So second one is and devices. Suppose I want to add and device. I have to select this one. If I have to uh, connect these devices, I have to move my cursor to wires or connection part. So this is connection part. Other options are also available over here. That is uh, components part, other and miscellaneous part, and one more. Uh, that is multi user part. That these all things are not so important for us right now. Let's start with. Our networking part. Suppose you want to add some router over here. You can select that router from this one. Select this router and click on your logical working space. So in this manner, you can add router to your workspace. Suppose if I if I want to add some switch over here, select click on switch and select some certain switch. Suppose I want to add PT switch. I have select click on PT switch and now click on my workspace now i need some and devices and devices means like pc laptop servers these all are and devices that may be ip phone or some some ip tv or these all things are and devices so i for i selected a pc so let's select a pc then select a laptop then one server okay so i have i have selected three devices from and devices now now i have to connect these all devices so i need some connectivity or some wire over here so now i have now i come to connections part i have click on that one so there are certain types of wires are available over here first option is automatic connection automatically choose connection type so if we click on this connection system will automatically automatically select which wire is going to use for this that connectivity suppose i want to uh connect this uh, this pc with switch 0 so now i have to click on this pc and then i click on this pt switch so automatically a wire has selected and added over here so which wire one wire is this one this one is this wire this is copper straight through cable in the same manner i can connect laptop and switch 0 so again i can select this copper straight through wire and click on this laptop i have to select which port i have to add uh, this wire so i have selected fast ethernet port then i have to go to switch then i selected fast ethernet port 1 of switch in this manner you can connect this server also so i have again selected this copper straight through cable click on this one server selected fast ethernet port now i have to click this switch now i have clicked fast ethernet port two so these three devices got got connected with this switch now i want to connect my switch with router so again same wire is going to use over here that is copper straight through cable so i have again selected fast ethernet port 3 of switch then i have to select some wire some some port over here but there is no fast ethernet port available over here so i have selected gigabyte ethernet port so you can use gigabyte ethernet port to connect your switch to your router you are able to connect fast ethernet net port with gigabyte port gigabyte ethernet port because both are of same type same means ethernet both are ethernet ports in the same manner you can connect same type of devices also suppose i want to add some switch over here so i will go to switch one part again i have again selected pt switch and click on my workspace now i have to connect my switch 1 with switch 
so i have to select some wire if i do not know which wire i have to use i can click automatically chosen connection type option but i know which wire i have to use that is copper crossover cable so if there is there there is same type of device you have if you have to connect same type of devices you have to select copper crossover cable so i have click on copper crossover cable and click on this first switch so i have selected this port but when i click on pt switch there is no fast ethernet port available for me so i can't connect this switch with my pt switch zero so let me add one more switch over here to demonstrate demonstrate you use of copper straight through wire so let's add one more switch over here i have again selected pt switch and click over here so i have to connect switch 1 with switch 2 because these are same layer devices i have to use copper crossover cable so i have click on copper cross crossover cable i have click on pt switch 1 i have selected fast ethernet port over here then i have selected again fast ethernet port 0 of switch 2 in this manner you can connect same layer or same type of devices so whenever you have to connect same type of devices use copper crossover cable whenever you have to connect different type of devices you have to use copper straight through cable